Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, folks, uh, early this morning, the United States of America flew over top South Korea, very low, flanked on either side by F-15 fighter jets of South Korea or F-16 fighter jets from the United States, flying very low over South Korea as a show of force to North Korea so that North Korea understands the Americans are prepared and have superiority and power uh, just so that Kim Jong-un doesn't get any crazy ideals to try to detonate a hydrogen bomb or shoot a nuclear warhead into Seoul, South Korea. The United States wants to be perfectly clear to North Korea that that would be the end of them as a nation. They would be annihilated. Well, uh, the Bible talks about there will be wars and rumors of wars. And a nation would rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And that's the kind of things that we're seeing right now. Uh, as it's, it's globally. I mean, whether you got Russia is at a, in a major confrontation with Turkey, or Russia is in a confrontation with Ukraine, or Iran is in a confrontation with Saudi Arabia, uh, or South Korea is in a confrontation with North Korea. I mean, this goes on and on and on. It, it just, and there's a proxy war going on in Syria where there's 14 different armies fighting in that little country. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. The conflicts and the kingdoms. And now you have the Sunni Muslims <clears throat> in a confrontation with the Shiite Muslims. So now we're talking kingdom against kingdom. And we got Muslims, radical Islamic Muslims against the Jews and Israel. You got Hamas or Hezbollah or Al-Qaeda or Al-Shabaab or Boko Haram or Al-Nusa or ISIS. All of them in confrontation against Christianity and Jews. That again is kingdom against kingdom. So with all of these conflicts going on and with the superpower capability of so many different people now, this world is in jeopardy. You know, I, uh, Saturday I was I watched a a ninety minute documentary on the rise of the actually World War II strategically how it was fought. As you had Nazi Germany, you had the Russians trying to hang on to their territory, you had the British that were literally almost wiped out. You have the Allied forces led by the Americans that had to come in and defeat on two fronts, had to defeat the Germans and the Japanese. But I studied that whole concept. Uh, the art of war, which is a lot of psychological war and a lot of propaganda war, but I also studied the spiritual significance of atheistic beliefs like the Japanese had, how that they were so willing to uh, kamikaze um, pilots flying into U.S. ships. Uh, also, there was a, the, the only reason... Uh, that uh, one nation would get a superiority um, capability over another was technology. The stronger the technology, the more advanced the technology, whether it be in radar or, or other types of technology, especially the uh, atom bomb in the end. But the greater the strength of technology, the more powerful each nation was. Also, when a nation has a cause, and when you have a cause to fight, then the ferociousness of that cause and the strategic thinking uh, kicks in. It's an incredible story why Japan attacked Pearl Harbor and how much they conquered during World War II of all of Asia. I mean, basically, Japan controlled the entire Asian hemisphere, especially the waterways of it. And it was an incredible battle for the United States to take that back. Of course, thousands and thousands and thousands of lives were lost. America lost about 465,000 lives. Russia lost 25 million people trying to preserve their land. So these are the types of things we really don't want to ever see again. But here's my point. The, the things that they were, the saber rattling, the boasting, the show of military might that the nations of the world were doing then is happening now. But the the toys are not for just little boys now. 
This could be the annihilation of a third or more of the population of the earth. The capability is here now. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. We're going to have a powerful Sunday Night Live broadcast. You don't want to miss it. We're going to be talking about the seven hills of that city. Don't miss it tonight. God bless.